Hey everybody, I'm back and right now we're going to be talking about adding and subtracting decimals. So before we go to the board, one of the main things that you need to understand is anytime you add and subtract decimals, the most important thing that you can do is make sure that the decimals are lined up correctly. And remember that anytime you have a whole number, there is always a decimal point understood at the end of the whole number. So it would be like five decimal zero. That still means the whole number five. It just has the decimal at the end, kind of like a placeholder to make sure you line things up correctly. So what we're fixing to do is I'm going to work a couple of these problems on the board for us. And the first one I'm going to do is an addition problem. Okay. And Notice I have the numbers and they're all not, they are lined up correctly, but I did this on purpose so that you could see what happens when you have 45 and 23 thousandths, okay, that's got one, two, three digits behind the decimal. You have three and six tenths, and if you want to make sure that it has enough places so that you keep everything lined up, you can put zeros in place of the gaps that are missing, and that'll just help you keep everything lined up correctly, okay? All right, this next number is the whole number 31. And like I just got through saying, all whole numbers have an understood decimal at the end. So once you put that decimal there, you can put your three zeros for placeholders just so that you make sure everything stays lined up. And then the last one, you have eight and 42 hundredths, but we can add that extra zero in just for placeholders, all right? Now, once you get all your placeholders done, then you just want to add columns. And remember, when you do addition, you start from the right and you move to the left. So when I start on the right, I have the number three with nothing added. So that's a three. In column two, I have a two. And at the very bottom, I have a two, which makes four. Next, I have a six and a four, that makes 10. And remember, when you have this, you can only put one digit here. So the zero, the ones place would go here and you carry the other one up there, all right? So that's 10. And then I go put my decimal. Remember, when you do adding and subtracting, your decimals must line up. So bring that decimal down into your answer so that it's in the exact same spot as it is in all the rest of it. And then you add this. 8 plus 1 is 9, 9 plus 3 makes 12, 12 plus 5 is 17, plus 1 makes 18. So we put that 1's place down there and we carry that other one up. And then we do this again, 1 plus 4 makes 5, 5 plus 3 makes 8. So our final answer is 88 and 43 thousandths, okay? Now when it comes to subtraction, it's kind of like the same thing. You still have to make sure that you line your decimals up correctly. And I'm subtracting the whole number 18. And remember 18 has a decimal at the end of it. Put your zeros for placeholders, that's important. And the reason why is because when you go to do subtraction, you can't take the 74 hundredths away from nothing. So what you have to do is you put the placeholders there so that you have something to subtract it from which means we're going to have to borrow or we're going to have to regroup, okay? So once we do that, I can't take four from zero. So I have to go borrow one from here. That was 10. And when I borrow from him, he becomes a nine, which means this zero becomes a 10, okay? So that 10 minus that four gives me six. That nine minus that seven gives me a two, all right? So good so far? Now, when I took one from here, you also have to, because seven didn't go from that, borrow one from here. So that makes that a seven, okay? And that would make seven minus two is five. And then this one didn't have anything to take away from it, so you just bring it down, okay? All right, now, these next two problems, these are just some examples of word problems that you might see. 
Um, the first one talks about the iPhone and the perimeter of the screen. And remember what perimeter means. Perimeter means to add all your sides together. And the bottom one talks about minimum wage and how it increased from $6.65 in 2008 to $7.75 in 2009. So to find out how much it went up, you would just subtract $6.65 from $7.75, and that gives you that it went up $1.10, okay? Um, that's all we're going to do for today with adding and subtracting decimals. The main thing that you need to remember is to line those decimals up before you get started, okay?